Good evening and thank you for joining us. Battleford RCMP are asking the public to be on the lookout as a search for a 12 year old boy that went missing from a temporary youth home last week. Police say Larkin McCallum Kuyak has a history of running away from the youth home and recent Facebook entries indicate he may still be in the Battleford's area. Now if you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call North Battleford RCMP at 306-446-1720 or Crime Stoppers. Now, a photo has yet to be provided. Do check our New Camp Television Facebook page for updates. Now to a situation that could have turned for the worse. A member of the St. Paul RCMP was injured after a violent altercation with a 26-year-old man from Whitefish Lake First Nation yesterday. Police were searching for Dominic Timothy Jackson for a domestic violence complaint when he was stopped by a St. Paul RCMP officer on a main road in Whitefish Lake. When the constable tried to arrest Jackson, he attacked the lone member. They struggled and Jackson tried to get into the RCMP truck punching the officer several times in the head. Jackson was able to get into the police truck and drove away, dragging the officer a short distance. Now the injured officer called for help at a nearby home. Police found the vehicle a short time later and found Jackson at the south end of the Whitefish Lake Reserve about an hour later. Dominic, Dominic Timothy Jackson is facing seven charges, including assault on a police officer, causing bodily harm and theft of a vehicle. The injured officer was taken by ambulance to St. Paul and was released later last night. His name is not being released at this time. War veterans have stories many of us can't even imagine, but these are the stories that let us live in freedom today. With Remembrance Day just around the corner, Anna Kanafe catches up with a local veteran and gives us a peek at what we can expect on Tuesday. For Oram Falcons, this month reminds him of the time he headed off to war in Korea in 1950. I didn't join the Army to fight. I joined it for something to do. So I said, sir, I'm not old enough to go to Korea. I had to be 19. He said, by the time you get there, you'll be 19. He says he remembers hearing gunshots constantly. During his fifth month of service, he was shot. One of their own soldiers misfired while cleaning his gun. I j just put... 30 seconds before that happened, I moved from where I was. I moved to the left, about a foot. If I hadn't moved, I wouldn't break through the heart. Just in the arm, it missed the bone, so it was a lucky shot. Falcon says when he arrived home, it was a surprise, as his family had no idea when he would return. It was quite an emotional day when I walked in the house at 12 o'clock. They just sitting down to have dinner. So it was quite a shock for everybody to see me. A time to remember stories like Falcons and other Canadian soldiers will happen on Tuesday at Lloyd Comp High School. Al Hemingway says because of the recent events in Ontario, a few extra safety measures have been put in place. There will be no additional baggage allowed in the auditorium or on the grounds. Um, access is going to be restricted to the main entrance of the school at the front and to the parking lot entrance. All the other entrances will be closed. I'm very proud that of the Canadian Army, they've always done a good job. Anybody that ever served in it will probably say the same thing. Anna Knopfate, New Cap News. A picture is worth a thousand words. This rings true for one Vermilion woman after becoming the recipient of a special award from the Professional Photographers of Canada. I was completely taken off guard that I won for a provincial because there are some amazing photographers out there. Kim Moritz's photos speak volumes in her studio. She completed she competed rather against 140 photographers in Alberta and believes her attention to detail helped her win. I'm a very technical shooter, so I spend a lot of time making sure everything's perfect in the images before I even push a button on the camera. Moore plans to compete at a national level going against the best of the best. She has this message for budding photographers. Taking courses, finding mentors, finding people who can help teach them those and fine-tune their photographs will help improve photography more than anything. Her family and grad photos were her ticket to winning. Kids love to hear stories, and that's what inspired this grandmother to write hers down. Linda Rosen, a local author from Red Cross, Saskatchewan, was in the city yesterday. 
The White Lady is Rosen's first book. She says it started by telling her granddaughter family-oriented stories and it snowballed into publishing the novel. Princess tales with magic and miracles and uh, romance and uh, um, time travel and everything had to have a happy ending. Once I was telling the stories and I decided to put them on paper. Rosen says the story is a look back into history and family genealogy and she's surprised all ages are enjoying it. Everybody from adolescent to seniors are enjoying it. Which I'm, I'm amazed because I wrote it more in the lines of thinking of teenagers, young teenagers. Rosen encourages everyone to look into their own family history to discover stories and says a sequel is on the way. Halloween decorations may be tucked away into closets and Christmas lights and ornaments are on their way up. We speak to some local residents and got their take on when they plan to set it up. Now a number of homes in the city have already set up their lights, including this viewer. And we also caught up with a local family who was in the process of setting up their holiday lights. Just deciding to get it out of the way, get ready for after Remembrance Day and that's when the lights come on. I think uh, after Remembrance Day, put up your lights and uh, take them down January sometime. After Remembrance Day? Yeah. Yeah, Christmas is too short. 